Hi, it's Ellen Violette here, and today I'm going to talk about how to know that your book's going to be a bestseller before you write a single word. So, I don't know if you're like me, but I like to know in advance whether what I'm writing is going to be worth writing and uh, not waste my time. So, the way that you do that is by doing the research. So, when you do the research, what happens is it gives you the best words to look up. That's the first thing that I do is I do like a brain dump and I go, okay, well, you know, what would people look up if they were looking for this topic? And so I get a whole list of words and then by going and doing more research, um, it, I'm, it might bring up more words that I haven't thought of and I do that in Word Tracker. And then the next thing is to go over to Kindle and start, I start putting in those words. So why am I doing that? I'm doing it because, uh, well, the first thing is I want to find out if there are more words, okay? And so sometimes when you put one word in, all of a sudden you start seeing other words that are connected that maybe you hadn't thought of. Hi, Al. Hi, Rick. So, um, the, and then the next thing is I want to look to see what are the best keywords in terms of what's selling in the different categories. So for any keyword that you put into Kindle, what's gonna happen is it tells you in the corner, first of all, how many books there are. And so like every once in a while, I'll do a, a, uh, a marketing and visibility study for somebody and there's like, you know, 10 books or 12 books. I mean, that tells you that absolutely nobody is interested in that because at this point there's like 5.6 million books in Amazon and so if there was interest in that uh, there would be a lot more books than 10 or even sometimes even you know 50 so I mean that's a very low amount so but but it tells you that and that's good and the next thing is you know are there books in, in that with that keyword that are selling because that's what you want to know you want to know if that topic is popular so a lot of times people will think, oh, well, that means that, you know, it's saturated because other people already have bestsellers in there. It's already selling. Um, you know, there's too many books. And so one of the things that you want to look at is how is your book going to be different? I mean, that's another thing. So you can write all, I mean, if you look at books on like weight loss, there's millions of them. And there's usually one or two at least that are on the bestseller list at any given time. So why is that? It's because there's interest in it. It's because not every diet works for everybody. And there's always people who are always searching for that perfect diet and they're never gonna find it, but they're, they're searching for it because they don't really wanna do what it takes to lose weight. So they're always looking for a gimmick. So if you have a new way or a different way of explaining what you do that captures people att people's attention, then um, that's gonna tell you that you can do that, you know, that, that you can make money doing that. Um, the other thing is, is it's going to give you the best words to use in your title and subtitle, and it's going to give you the best words to use in your seven keywords that you get in Amazon. So when you go to publish your book in Amazon, you get seven keywords in two categories, and here's just a little tip. Uh, you can actually get more than seven, than two categories, but you just, I don't know why they only give you two when you go to publish, so you have to ask them if you want to get it in more. Hi, Rich. So, hi, Al. So, that's the deal with that. And then, um, you also want to make sure that what you're doing, you know, isn't a rehash, I mean, I, I know I talked about being different, but also that it's not a rehash of another book. So, you always want to make sure that you know what's already out there. So you know that you're not just saying the same thing that somebody else has said. Now, uh, the truth is, is like you can say things in a different way, you know, with a different title, a different cover, and if you capture the audience's attention better than the person who's already out there, then yeah, sometimes that can work. But um, that's not my favorite way to do it. I'd much rather be adding something new to the conversation, something different, something that makes you stand out as a leader. And um, and then the other thing is, you know, you want to make sure that the domain name is available because I know sometimes I'll go in there when I'm doing studies for people and they have an idea and we go and we look and it turns out that that title's already taken. So you don't want to write a book uh, on something that's already taken. Hi, Terry. Um, 
And, you know, the, a really great example of that is how to be happy. So, uh, actually, it's gotten better now than it was. At one point, there were 48 books called How to Be Happy. So, if I'm looking for a book on how to be happy, and I go in there and there are 48 books on how to be happy, it's kind of hard to decide which one of those I would want to read. And usually what would happen is you don't buy any of them because they're not differentiated. There's nothing exciting. You know, there's nothing really great. Oh, thanks for the hearts. I appreciate that. So that's one thing. And then another thing is, you know, making sure that you are conveying your title in a way that's different. Like sometimes the book is different, but your title isn't conveying that it's different. So that's another thing that you have to look out for. So when you do that, um, for instance, I had a, I worked with a chiropractor once and he had a book on how to heal lower back pain naturally. And uh, there was a, we went in there to do some research. He'd already written the book when he came to me. And we, uh, we were looking and there was this other book and I go, this sounds just like your book. And he goes, oh no, no, my book's really different. And I said, well, I wouldn't know that from your title. You really need to be clear in your title so that you do connect with your audience. And that's you know, one of the reasons why it's important to find the best keywords and then to also look at what else has been done so that you're making sure that it's different. So, it, you know, one is that it's different. Two is that you convey that it's different. And then three is that the domain name is available. And, um, and that, that's really it. So those are really the things that you need to look for. Now, the other thing is the categories. So how do you know the books are selling? So, and I said, you know, you can know before you write a single word. So what you do is you look at the keywords and as you're looking with the keywords, you look at the Amazon ranking and you see where they show up. So for instance, you can have two books that are number one and one can be selling, selling really well and one can actually be selling not that well, but they're both number one in their categories. Why is that? It's because one, it, it isn't selling as well. You know, one category isn't selling as well. And so it doesn't, it, it's easier to get to number one, but it's a higher number. So for instance, if you have, if you're looking at Amazon and a book is at like, you know, one to 5,000, that means it's selling like crazy. Five to 10,000 selling several books a day, 10 to 20,000, it goes up 50,000. It's like one book a day. And after that, it's sporadic. So um, when you look at those, like let's say you have a book that's number one and the book is at 2,000, and you've got another book that's at number one and it's at 30,000. Well, that book that's at 2,000 is selling several copies a day, you know, thousands of copies a day. And the one that's at 30,000 is not doing that. But it doesn't mean it can't get to number one. So, you know, there really are two things that you're also looking at. One is best sellers and the other is how are they selling. So that's why the ranking is important because you don't just want it to be a bestseller, you want it to be a bestseller that's actually selling. So um, that's really how I go about helping people figure out how to position their books and making sure that we know it's a topic that is selling. Now, sometimes, it, this is really interesting too, um, this is probably not so much now as, as several years ago, but I remember I had a woman come to me once and her book was on dog training. And at that point, she was thinking about doing an ebook and we went and looked and ebooks were not selling on that topic at all, but books were selling really well. So she had to adjust her her um, strategy as to how she was going to format her book. So that's another thing, you know, you need to look at who's, who's buying and how are they buying, where are they buying. Uh, you want to make sure that you're just connecting with your audience wherever they are. So that is the uh, process that I use. That's, that's the short version. And uh, I'm going to be doing a live webinar this Saturday, October 20th at 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific. And that is called How to Easily Write a Bestseller in Three Days or Less. Even if you hate to write, don't know how to write, or have never written. And I have been teaching people how to do this since 2004. So if you would like to learn more, I'm going to go more in, in depth there and, and show you examples and walk you through it. And, um, you know, I would love to have you join me. So to do that, you can go to www.3, uh, the number three, day. D A Y ebook, E B O O K, cash dot com forward slash class. That's three day ebook 
cash.com forward slash class. So I hope you'll register and join me on Saturday morning and uh, have a great rest of the day. Oh my God, Terry just started writing a book. Oh yes, I would love to talk to you. Terry and I have been friends for ever for, since the 70s. Uh, Terry is a, is a fabulous singer and uh, we've had a lot of fun together in the past. So I would love to talk to you, Terry. That's like really exciting. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. This is sacred number two. I've still got number three and number four and then our live uh, webinar on Saturday. And again, that's three, the number three day ebookcash.com forward slash class. See you there. Bye-bye.